Walter Ruther is calling the president on line O. The president asked the operators to get him. Hello. Hello. Hi, Walter. How are you? Fine. I, uh, your labor boy is giving me such a push today. I haven't been on the phone. I just got oh. through and I'm going over and eat dinner with John Steinbeck, but I thought I'd better call you oh. in right. between. I just take a minute to get I had OA night in today and John Lewis and all of his co-workers, and I so see. I've had a pretty rough day. You've had a rough day, yeah. Mm. Well, I want to just say first that I was so proud of you at the U of M that day. That was a tremendous job you did. Uh, well, thank you. And uh, I was real proud. Thank you. Uh, what I'm calling you about, I'll just take a minute. <clears throat> I've been working with Moon and our boys on the Texas situation. We've been trying to help put that together down there, you know, so that the Conley forces and the Yarborough forces could work together and give you a united Texas, which we need. And I thought it was coming along, and then the other day, um, Ralph Yarborough called me, and Hank Brown has been trying to get me, and he wrote me a long letter. And I met this afternoon with our regional director, who, who's the fellow that, that Moon works under, Teddy Hawks. And um, I, I think it would be a great tragedy. Those boys are talking about walking out of the convention down there and so forth. And I don't think there's really as much difference between them as they, they appear to be. And uh, Hank Brown and these fellows are talking about where well, they're fighting for your program and the Connolly forces won't go along well, with it. Well, uh, neither one of us know what our program is. It hadn't been written. The only thing they're doing, they, the damn fools are letting Republicans sick them on. That's right. To, they want to try to take the convention away from Connolly, Walter, and they can't do it. Of course they he, can. He's got them beat two to one. And Connolly hadn't got a program or platform, and I haven't got one. We're going to write it up at, uh, up at uh, uh, Atlantic City. We're going to write a platform, and then they're going to have another convention. But all the Republicans done is they got a bunch of simpletons down there who really want to control this, and Yarber is their agent. He votes right up here, but he got absolutely no judgment. What he ought to be doing is getting every Democrat he can to support him, because he's going to wind up getting in a fight and running half of them over to the Republicans. Yeah. And ain't a damn thing in the world for him to gain. Every delegate that comes to that convention is going to be a carefully selected Lyndon Johnson man from who laid the chunk. And he's going to be ordered to instruct vote for me all the way down the line. Now, what they're trying to make them do is say, you give us a blank check to endorse a platform that hadn't been written. Yeah, well, I, now, they can't do that. Of course they and, can. and if it did, Connolly would get beat by a Republican. Right. The point is, the point is that why why can't there be somebody to work this thing out because they're fighting over nothing. Now, number one, the important thing is to get that convention united to support all the Democratic candidates, starting with you. Well, I'll tell you why. Ms. Randolph, through the years, is a good good soul, but she rules or runs. If she can't if she can't rule it, Ruth, then she'll run it. Now they have tried to figure out. They went out. First thing I tried to do is beat Connolly, which was a terrible mistake for him to do. Right. They ought to be fighting with him. Uh, and I got in a fight with Connolly because he said, well, if they're going to beat me, beat I'm going to be in Yarbrough. Yarbrough. Well, I said, you can't do that. And he said, well, it's a hell of a thing to take my gun away from me and give them the gun to work on me with. Right. And you can't keep Don Yarbrough out, but you can keep me out. Well, I made Joe Kilgore mad, and I made Connolly mad, but I kept Yarbrough from getting defeated. Because any one of the group, Jim Wright, uh, Joe Kilgore, any of them would have defeated Yarbrough. That's right. Connolly had it right. Uh, but I said, why do I want to improve a situation when I get a man's vote 99 times out of 100? Why well, don't I want to change that kind of a man? And I, I appealed to Connolly's intelligence, and he said, well, all right, but I'm still mad about it. So he didn't beat him. Now, as soon as they got by that thing, they come out and start a fight and say, okay, we, we can't run the convention. We've tried to beat you. We've lost. But now we're going to tell you that if you don't do it, we're going to embarrass the president by going up with a separate delegation. Well, Connolly don't give a damn if they take a separate delegation, and I don't either as far as that's concerned because they've got nothing to fight. I had Yarber to lunch today at the White House. I said, now, Ralph. Why in the living hell do you want to fight about something that hasn't been written yet 
If you want to fight about it, go into the September convention in Texas after we've had Atlantic City and try to blackball everybody that doesn't support our platform. I wouldn't give a damn what they supported. I'd say you support Johnson, period. Because we haven't written their platform. I don't know what it is I want to ask them to support. Connolly called me and said, now what kind of a program are you advocating? What are you going to put in your platform? Are you going to are you, are you, are you going to balance the budget or are you going to unbalance it? And I said, well, we're going to have a platform committee and we're going to write a damn good platform. Well, he said, don't ask me, though, to write a blank check before you ever meet because that don't appeal to anybody. No. Well, what, what was Ralph the Yarbrough's reaction? Well, your, Yarbrough's reaction is that they're after him and they're going to beat him and Conley's after him, so he's got to fight Conley. Now, I've told Conley that he's got to get out there and get elected himself. He's got to support Yarbrough. And all of us go together. I told you Arbor Day, I said, I'm with you. Money, marbles, and chalk. All the way, all the time. Now, you tell me who you want me to call, what you want me to do, I'll do it. And he said, well, that's fine. I'll sure be in touch with you, but uh, they're really after me. Well, that's true. They are after him. Well, they're but after the, each other. That's he, the problem. Why the hell he, did they let you just Don Yarbrough get in that race? That they was all, a damn nonsense. Of course it was. It's awful. Uh, but uh, we will get Connolly and every conservative Democrat that's on that ticket and connected with them. They'll wind up voting for Johnson, voting for Connolly, and voting for Yarbrough. Now, the only one that's really important about it is, uh, is the Yarbrough thing. They're going to vote for me, the Democrats are, and uh, uh, it'll pull Yarbrough over. But if he has a blood lady, and he gets them all mad at him. That's right. And what he ought to do is start fighting the living hell out of Bush. That's the man to fight. Not to fight Conley. But they don't do that. And this is history of Texas and the liberal movement. And that's why they always get back. We had to, we had him up when Conley was elected, where labor could make advances in Texas ten years ahead of what he'd done. They didn't wait two hours until they started threatening him. Yeah. Well, you know, our UAW boys supported him. That's right. They, they, they have in the, the problem, state. The problem down there now is our fellows are fine, but then you've got CWA and the steel workers and some other people, and I'm I, and Hank Brown is calling me, and I'm just trying to get these other fellows to, to act sensibly. What they ought to do is this. They ought to realize that, number one, Mr. Connolly won the conventions. They had a contest over it. They got 2,700 votes, and he's got about 1,800 of them. That's number one. So they they tried, and the majority didn't win, and they lost. They tried Don Yarber, and they lost. Now, Connolly's there, and the man that didn't lose was Ralph Yarber, and the only reason he didn't lose because we wouldn't let a man run against him and wouldn't let Connolly, and Connolly's uh, uh, given me some very bad publicity about it. They said Connolly and I have fallen out, and all that kind of stuff. It's not true, but Connolly didn't like my telling him that he just absolutely couldn't support Kilgore. And then Kilgore called here, and I was in the cabinet meeting, and Walter Jenkins talked to him, and they had to make a decision. They had an hour before it announced, and Walter Jenkins told him that he thought it would be an insult to me if he announced. So he went up and withdrew. And that gave Yarbrough an unheard of opponent, and he damn near defeated him. And uh, now the problem we've got is getting Yarbrough beat this attractive young boy Bush. And he ought to quit fighting with Connolly and every Democrat. If a man's got a Democratic label on, he ought to say Mr. And the only ones he ought to cuss is Republicans. Hell, if I were him, I wouldn't go to a county convention. I wouldn't mess around the convention. The convention's going to be for his candidate for president. His candidate for president's going to win. He's going to have his program. It's going to do what Yarber likes to vote for. So why does he want to get mixed off in the convention. He ought to try to win the senatorship. That's what we need. Uh, is John Connolly prepared to adopt a broad general statement which you say they, that they uh, provide full support to the president and all the Democratic candidates? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't talked because to him. Because if, if we could get an agreement on that, hell, that's all they need. They don't need anything else. John Connolly is prepared to bring that delegation up there and support me either. Who laid the hill? I'm prepared to tell John Connolly and everybody down there that we've got to go all out to elect the Yarbrough, but I don't know whether I can keep them from just fighting at each other's throat because they're like two big pussycats. Uh -oh. they, just, they act like boys. John and Yarbrough calls me and... Good, and but uh, Connolly's been elected, and Connolly's got the votes, and Connolly's in charge, and I've got to have Connolly to carry the state myself, and that they ought to rec recognize. 
And Connolly got 71% of the votes against Don Yarbrough. And didn't halfway try and didn't halfway campaign. That's right. And uh, a year ago, he only beat him with 26,000. But that's what they've lost uh, in a two-year period. Yeah, and they, they'll get it down to 81% if they keep on. But what they'll do, they'll wind up having Tower in the Senate and having Bush in the Senate. Now, that's the way they're going, because Yarbrough is a very weak candidate. Civil rights and union labor and the Negro thing is not the way to get elected in a state that elects Connolly by 72%. And Yarbrough votes right, but he's handicapped in that state. Now, he wouldn't be handicapped in Michigan or New York, but he's handicapped in Texas. Look what they did to Elliott in Alabama. The only decent guy we had in the whole South on Rules Committee, and they beat him. Now, they'll beat, Don, they'll beat, they'll beat John Young from Texas, because he's voting with us 100% of the time, but give him two years, they'll get him. Now, what we got to do, the big thing that the liberal movement ought to do, it ought to give a tinker's damn about who comes to convention, or what they say about the platform. There's one thing they ought to care about. Are the people coming to that convention going to be for Johnson? The answer is yes. Every damn one of them are going to be approved by me. That's number one. They're not going to send a man there that's not agreeable to me. So the, the man that they claim they're for is going to have the delegation he wants. That's number one. The second thing they ought to be concerned about is electing Ralph Yarbrough and put every energy and dollar and time they can in it, not run people off from him. That's right. All they're doing is making everybody not want to vote for Yarbrough, almost.